Hey everybody. Today we are going to talk about applying filters and we're going to do this in our search tab. Applying filters is really important because that's how we determine our call population or the batch of calls that we are going to be looking at. Um, so we're on our search tab. If I run a search without applying any filters, the only condition that's going to be applied to it is your time frame. So we're looking at calls from yesterday. Uh, we've returned 333 calls. Now I want to refine that down uh, more than, than just by the date. So we're going to start by looking at the buckets that we're able to use as filters. And those are categories, attributes, and measures. If you don't remember what the definition of those is, you can check our YouTube page and we have a video on that as well. Um, I'm going to start out by applying an attributes filter. We're going to open up our attributes drop down on our left pane and under our department folder, I see that there's a sales and service option. If I mouse over sales, I see that a plus and minus sign appear. If I click on the plus, that's going to include calls where department equals sales. If I click over the minus, that is going to exclude calls where the department equals sales. And we want to look at our sales department, so I'm going to include those. You see that pop at the top of your screen just under your search bar? I'm now going to run my search again we're going to significantly reduce the number of calls in that call population since we've applied that filter we've gone from 333 down to 180. now now that we've got that in place i'd also like to apply a behavioral filter which can be found under categories this is the content that we create for uh, for our client pool so if we open up our categories drop down and i look in our behaviors folder there is an important piece of content here called transfer language so i'm going to add this in an inclusive filter by clicking on the plus we see that pop there as well and i'm going to rerun my search this gives us the ability to not only focus on a specific business line but also a behavior within that business line. So just with a few filters, we've been able to take a large call population, 300 plus, and refine it down to eight calls in our sales department where a particular behavior is occurring. I hope this was helpful. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.